Hi, welcome back to another very exciting Copycat Wednesday here at the PhotoshopTrainingChannel.com. My name is Jesus Ramirez, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to recreate the TikTok logo effect in Photoshop. It actually uses the same technique that I showed you in my Duotone Double Exposure Effect tutorial. Link to that video in the description. As usual, I don't know how the original artist created the final image, but in this case, it was probably using this technique or at least it was inspired by it. But in either case, the point of Copycat Wednesday is for me to show you new techniques that you can apply to your projects, even if the final result is completely different to the type of work that you create. And this is probably the best example of it. You can use this exact same technique to create a trendy logo like the TikTok logo or create a really cool double exposure effect. The point is that you should watch the video and learn the tools and techniques and apply them to your work in unique ways. But I'm sure that you already knew that. Also, I want to mention that I have a brand new TikTok account where I'll be posting short one minute Photoshop tutorials. No worries if that's not your style, the YouTube videos you know and love will still be here and the YouTube channel is my priority. But if you're interested in the fast format tutorials, then you can check me out at JR from PTC on TikTok. But anyway, let's jump right into the tutorial. If you want to follow along with me, then you can download the starter file from the tutorial image link in the description. This is the document that we're going to work with. It contains two layers, a black background and a logo layer. The logo is white and it has a transparent background. And the first step is to select your logo layer, right click and convert it into a smart object because we want to make this into a container where we can swap out the logo layer if we like and apply the effect automatically. And the next step is to duplicate this logo layer two times. And I can do so very simply by pressing Control J on Windows, Command J on the Mac twice. So now I have two duplicate copies. Now it's very important to note that when you duplicate a smart object, the duplicate copies are all tied to the same smart object. So if you change the contents of one, you will change the contents of all three, which is how this becomes a template for applying the effect to any logo. Next, I'm going to double click on the layer name to rename it. And I'll call the layer on top, Cyan. And here's a really cool trick for you. When you're renaming a layer, if you press the tab key on the keyboard, Photoshop will automatically toggle to the layer below and activate the layer name and you can type in a new layer name for it. In this case, I'll call it red. So simply press the tab key on the keyboard. Not a lot of people know that keyboard shortcut, so let me know in the comments if it was new to you. So now I have my original logo, a red layer and a cyan layer. With the cyan layer selected, I'm going to click on the move tool and I'm going to hold shift and tap the left arrow key five times. One, two, three, four, five. And when you have the move tool selected, you can tap on the arrow keys on the keyboard to move the layer one pixel at a time in the direction of the arrow key that you tapped on. But if you hold the shift key while tapping on the arrow keys, the layer moves 10 pixels at a time in that direction. So in this case, we move the layer 50 pixels to the left. Next, I'll move the layer up 50 pixels by holding the shift key and tapping on the up key on the keyboard. One, two, three, four, five. I'll click on the red layer and hold shift and tap on the down arrow key five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then tap on the right arrow key five times while holding shift. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the result that you see there. The blend or the way that we're going to add the colors, cyan and red to the logo, is actually very, very simple to do. All you'll need to do is double click to the side of the layer here and under advanced blending, make sure that you uncheck this R channel. So what you're doing here is turning off the red channel. So then the green and the blue channel are the only ones that are mixed. And since the logo we're working with is white and you need all three channels to get white, when you remove the red, you get cyan. In other words, when you remove a channel, the remaining color is the opposite color. In this case, cyan. I'll press OK. Then you can go into the red layer, double click to the side of the layer to bring up the layer style window. And what you want to do here is disable the other two channels, the green channel and the blue channel, so that you only have red light. All the channels mixed together at full intensity give you white. 
So if you're disabling these two channels, then you're only going to have the red channel at full intensity, which will, of course, give you red. You can press OK. And just like that, we've created the TikTok logo effect. But that's not all. There's a lot more that I want to show you that will help you in your projects. And what you can do now is double click on the smart object thumbnail to open it up in a new tab. And you can come in here and swap the logo with something else. For example, I have a library that has the Photoshop logo. So let me open that up and I'll bring in the Photoshop logo into my working document. And I'm going to delete this background layer and just simply work with the PS and I'll just make that larger like so. And I'll click on a check mark to commit the changes. I'll disable the original logo and I'll just make this font white. And I'll click on the check mark to commit the changes, close the smart object and save it. And Photoshop will apply exactly the same effect to the Photoshop logo. So you can use this as a template. Again, all you need to do is double click on the smart object to open it up in a new tab, make your adjustments, close it, save it, and Photoshop keeps those adjustments. What I would recommend is for you to hold shift, click on the bottom layer, and then click on the top layer to select all the layers and press control G, command G on the Mac to put it into a group and just call it logo. And just with these simple adjustments, we were able to recreate the TikTok logo effect in Photoshop. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification buttons if you're new to the Photoshop training channel. And remember, you can use the same technique to create a dual tone double exposure effect. The link to that tutorial is below in the description. You can check it out now if you like. Also in the description, you'll see a link to my brand new TikTok account where you can follow me to see short form tutorials. They will all be under one minute long. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, I want to address some of the comments that I've been receiving about my new TikTok account. First of all, I'm not leaving YouTube. This YouTube channel is my priority and I will not be moving to any other platform. If you want to only follow me on YouTube, that's totally fine. You can disregard all my other social media accounts. Nothing will change for you. All the tutorials, including Copycat Wednesday, will still be here. But anyway, I hope to see you again in the next Copycat Wednesday. I hope that you have a great rest of your week. Stay healthy and safe and talk to you again in the next Photoshop tutorial.